Hello YouTube, it is March 29th, um, late night video. I'm actually doing a enzyme for y'all today on my face because it's well needed. Y'all can't see it on camera. I would take a picture with my phone, but yeah, my nose is flaky and congested and everything right now. Like, So yeah, it, it definitely needs it. I take a picture. Once you see the picture, you say, yeah, Diva one, you need it, honey. So I'm going through my thing because I never gave y'all the update on the Global Skin Solutions and I use about everything at this point. I need to go ahead and get the full sizes. Um, I've been dealing with some family issues. That's why I haven't had time to um, do that. I, if y'all ain't subscribed to the personal channel, y'all missing out on what goes on with my personal life. But now I'm searching through for the enzyme. Okay, I see herbal clay mask. Okay, wild agave enzyme pill. So we're going to use that after cleaning my face. And then for the face, we're going to use... Do I got any more of the cleanser left? Okay, I got some of the cleanser. So I'm going to cleanse my face off with the gentle facial cleanser. And then y'all are going to see me come back with the uh, wild agave enzyme pill. So it's a very greenish color. That activates, and then y'all going to see me use the steamer because it activates most um, better on steam. So I'm going to take the because y'all seen my last video where I had the hair component and I was steaming my hair. Now I'm going to switch it into the face steaming mode, and y'all going to see how that works for the first time. I've never used that before at the steamer, so we're going to see how that works versus me doing the hot towel. Usually when I do the enzyme. I put a paraffin mask over and then I put a hot towel down. But now I'm just going to have the um, steam hit me instead of using the hot towel method. So that is it, y'all. Yeah, when I come back, I will be in my living room set up. I might try the tripod method. We, we're going to see how that works today and see how I can get this going here and set up. I still have yet to try to mount this on the tripod because, like I said, I'm going through a lot right now. Um... As far as second jobs in the midst of switching job opportunities on up, if y'all not subscribed to my business channel, go ahead and subscribe to that. That keeps y'all up to date on what's going on in my business life. But anyways, as far as the beauty life, go ahead and stay tuned. Mwah. Oh, crap. I got the flash on, y'all. But can y'all see my... Yeah, I'm flaking all up. I told y'all I'd give y'all an up close of what's going on with my face. So, yeah, I'm all flaked and bumped up. It's time for an enzyme treatment. Now, this is not discoloration. This is just my short hair stubble growing in. But, as y'all can tell, my nose is highly congested up and through here. My Logitech webcam, due to the fact it's nighttime, wasn't doing my face justice. Even though right now I'm not doing my face justice, but I wanted to see, show y'all what my face looks like before doing the enzyme. So this is the before, and then after I go ahead and set the steamer up and put the face on with the enzyme, I'm about to clean now with the um, Gentle Facial Cleanser from Global Skin Solutions. Then I'm going to apply on the Wild Agave Enzyme, and we're going to go ahead and get this congestion on out, honey. So I will see y'all soon. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and I got the mask on. Excuse the low-light situation, but there it go right there. You probably can't even see the steam. It is producing a little bit of steam. Okay, y'all can see it a little bit if I pull the camera back. But like I said, it definitely takes 10 minutes for this to upload, and you can see the water level is pretty low, so... Even with the water level being low, it takes a solid 10 minutes for the water to warm up before I started even seeing steam. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and test this out on my face. And once again, I know I'm going to have to get some better light. And I'm going to have to get me a ring light or something. But I'm going to go ahead and steam my face and see how this does. But I do wish that it shot out a little further, like... If I go beyond six inches, like, I don't like that I can't get an intense burst of, you know, steam. So, yeah, that's what you get when you, that's what you get what you pay for, though. I only paid um, $50 for this, so, yeah, 
It looks like I'm gonna go ahead and have to cough up that 200 to get the the fancy one that shoots out for like three plus feet away. Cause this one is like you got to be real close up on it. I almost scared because I'd be afraid that it would just shoot out and darn on you know burn me or something, but. I hate to sound ghetto, y'all, but I would have been better off quiet as it's kept just warming up a pot of water on the stove and just having my face put over that. Don't, don't y'all judge me. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only black person who does that. I'm looking awkward because I'm so used to looking at my laptop, but I got the webcam on the tripod, which is right here. And like I said, I just don't got no decent light up in here, y'all. That That's the thing right there, shooting out a little bit of steam, honey. I thought I might be able to switch the size of something of it up. Like, let me go ahead and switch the size. Like, oh, it gives me the option to close that up. Let's see if that increases the steam, y'all. No, still giving the same amount of steam output. Yeah, y'all, I know I look awkward. See, this is why I'm glad I test out stuff on myself first before I go introducing it in the treatment room. Yeah, I, I, it looks like I'm just going to have to come on out that $200. I wasn't trying to do it. I seen, I, because I needed to get some things on Amazon anyway, such as this camera and the tripod. And I said, hell, this steamer, it got a little ozone too. I'm not even using the ozone. I'm using the steam today, but it got a little ozone thing on it and it was for $50. I said, well, let me add this to the cart along with my black seed oil and all of that. So this is good for personal use, I will say, to a certain extent, because it's like, of course, I can afford to be close up on it like this. But, yeah, this would be irritating for my clients. I mean, I guess I guess it might be different if I have them laying down and then I have this directly over them. But, even you no. Know, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to get me um, I'm going to have to go ahead and invest two three hundred dollars in the stand up more. And I did see one on. um on Amazon for 99 bucks that was a stand up one that shoots out but it always sold out what the hell I hope that mug ain't out there barking at my cat I slapped the darn on dog piss up out of him darn on neighbor dog just interrupted my whole flow of thinking but yeah, y'all y'all Estes be darn on beating me to the Amazon deals. Whenever that darn on um portable steamer comes up, the one that you can roll around and it shoots out for over three feet away for ninety nine dollars, and it comes with the year warranty, y'all always beat me to the darn on punch. Had me tempted to go and just purchase it from eBay, but eBay they got that one from China, and it's like mm, I don't know. But it does come with the magnifying glass. I might need to go ahead and invest in the magnifying glass too. But I got the individual like I I like to use the um the woods lamp for my clients instead of the magnifying glass because you turn the lights out and you really get to see the condition of the people's skin.
versus, you know, with just the magnifying lamp, you just see more so the topical, you know, skin elements of the person's skin. But I'm about to go ahead and wrap this up. I've already had this on for like three minutes before I even turned the camera on. And then I see I'm at the six minute mark and I was steaming my face two minutes before then. It only needs to be on here for 10 minutes. But that's basically it in a nutshell with this um wild agave enzyme. I don't feel the sting that some people say they have. And, I, and like I said, I've tried this under every type of steam situation. I've tried this under hot towel. I tried this under um, the pot. Like I said, I'm ghetto, y'all. I've tried this under the pot. And now I'm trying this with the regular steamer. Um, I feel the stinging on the initial contact, but I don't feel it throughout. Like some people say they feel the wild agave. Some people say they jump off the table with the wild agave. It hasn't done that for me. I feel more of the stinging with the brightening um, Mandelic pill from Global Skin Solutions. But then again, like I said, my skin is probably used to chemical pills because I use, uh, you know, several different brands of chemical pills like 40% glycolic acid, 50% um, Mandelic 25. So my face is probably used to it. But that is it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera off and switch to my um, cell phone because the cell phone shows clear more. Oh, my cell phone shows more clear, pre precise quality versus um, this right here due to the lighting condition because I can turn on the flash on my phone. Y'all, y'all ain't going to believe what happened. I turned the ozone on, right? And I've been speaking with y'all for two minutes, didn't even realize I ain't, I took the camera off. But, yeah, I just realized that when I turned the ozone button off, that this has a lamp underneath it. Y'all just see me complaining for, like, the past eight minutes about you get what you pay for. And this whole time, it just needed the ozone button turned on to release the steam. Because it wasn't releasing like this earlier. Y'all seen what it did when I just had the steam button on. Now, it's finally shooting out steam, so... Yeah, future reference, if you want the steam to shoot out like this, you got to turn on the ozone button. So I'm going to just give my face two more minutes. Now that the steam is really coming out good. Okay, see, y'all can finally see it now. The steam finally coming out good, honey. I got to try this again next week with the old, with the ozone on from the beginning. Here I am done spent the first 10 minutes. The enzyme done about died down now. Because you know the enzyme only lasts about 10 minutes on your face. And Y'all know I can't wait to move from here. I hear my neighbors and everybody outside. But yeah, y'all, that's what it's finally like with those on on. Got the light and everything. I ain't even know this thing came with a light. Because like I said, the first time I used it, I, I used it for the hair dryer. I mean, for the hair steamer. And then I just had the steam button on. Let's see if it works. Oh, okay. So it still goes with the steam on. So you have to have both the steam and the ozone on to get the light. If you turn both of them off, if you turn any one of them off, the light's not on. So you got to have both the ozone, you got to have both the ozone and the uh, steam button on to have the light on. Okay. Learn something new every day. But you definitely have to have the ozone on to get this much steam because it wasn't doing this when I just had the steam on. When it had the steam on, it was doing some light stuff, but it wasn't doing all this earlier. And once again, that's why it always pays to uh, test out your gadgets first before introducing it in the treatment room.
That way you don't get si get surprised with little stuff like this. Hey, that's it, y'all. That's it for me, y'all. Now I'm going to switch all over to camera mode on this. Okay, y'all. Just got finished recording on the laptop, and that's the tripod. That's what it that's what my camera looks like now set up up on the tripod. And there's the steamer. I just got finished steaming. Y'all can't even see because I had the flash on, but this has a light. Okay, y'all can see it now. But only when both of these are turned on. So that's my steam mode right here, and that's my ozone that's steam right here. coming on out. Okay, y'all. Just got finished recording on the laptop, and that's the tripod. That's what it... That's what my camera looks like now set up up on the tripod. And that's the steamer. I just got finished steaming. Y'all can't even see because I had the flash on, but this has a light. Okay, y'all can see it now. But only when both of these are turned on. So that's my steam mode right here, and that's my ozone right here. And that's the steam coming on out. But let me go ahead and show y'all what my face is looking like. So, this is what my face is looking like right now. Okay, y'all, this is the after. So, a lot more shinier. So, afterwards, I just put on the neutralizer after the enzyme and then I follow it on up with my good old CeraVe moisturizing cream for my eczema and there we go so the only thing y'all see now is my little five o'clock shadow but nose is now totally clear